it's despicable behavior to try to make money selling any links to components, whether theirs or not, that they do not know, truthfully, if end users will get the same success that they did. And that is, once again, a despicable way, I feel, to make money. Things that need to be purchased. But don't worry, I will leave a link for each and every one of these items in the description below. Here I've attached a scrap piece of plywood to the back of the gantry to hold the electronics. So I believe I've made my point. We're going to start to go downhill here real quick. Uh, we already see that he's using a piece of wood to mount the electronics. Now, I'm going to bring up some real obvious points of why never to use wood. First and foremost, it's unsafe because it is flammable. You mount any power supply that's taking, once again, AC power, distributing it in DC format, and any type of spark or any type of fallacy could potentially result in a fire. If this is the case, you will not be paid by your insurance company. Check and see if I'm accurate on this. I've had a lot of my potential clients do this and thank me in the long run. That's the first point. Second point is the fact that you cannot ground wood, guys. And you'll also notice that we have anodized components here. Anything that is anodized, and I've covered this in previous videos, is an insulator. So the coating must be removed. So once again, had he been aware of this, this would have been discussed earlier as far as grounding the system. I've actually fast forwarded to the electronics portion because again, you will see that that's not discussed. The main thing we are looking at here is a disregard for the fact that all electronics for precision robotics, I don't care what size the robot is, if you're expecting it to be accurate, it should be assembled correctly. And this is mandatory. That means that all electronics, as far as the controller itself, any component should be installed in a metal electronics enclosure. Once again, the metal enclosure will act as a proper Faraday cage, protecting from certain amount of EMI. Also, it protects from the environment that your robot is installed in.